there everybody, this is Matt of Cigar Hound Dog with another cigar review. And tonight I'll be smoking the Oliva Siri V Milanio Maduro and Robusto. A lot of O's. Here's a 5x52 softbox press Robusto. Nice decadent looking wrapper here. Dark chocolate in color. Teeny bit of oil sheen too. There's a foot. I think and hope it is focusing. Hopefully. There's the bands. Straightforward bands on this one. And there's a cap. Overall, very nice look about it. But yeah, as far as a blend goes, this one has a Mexican San Andreas wrapper, that wrapper over the Nicaraguan binder and fillers. And as far as my previous experience with Oliva, specifically this Milanio blend, the last one I smoked for review was the natural version, and that was the Figurino. Good cigar, kind of overpriced though. Uh, that's a $20 cigar, and it's like a fairly short Figurado. It can get better with age, but in my opinion, that cigar is still overpriced. Give me the regular Figurado any day. It's less money and it's bigger. No brainer in my opinion. But yeah, uh, overall, very good experiences with this blend. Looking forward to reviewing the Maduro iteration here. Let's get it cut up, lit up, and see what we have. Great draw. Alrighty, slide it up. Hmm. Chocolatey cigar. Go figure. I'm getting this hot chocolate note, very creamy hot chocolate. That's the main tone to the on palette. Really like that. Through the retro hail and on the palate, I'm getting spice. Typically, I don't get spice on the palate, but I'm getting this red pepper tingle on the palate. Undertone both of the retro and palate. Espresso and walnut is undertones both of the retro and palate. And that is it to start. Right now, I'll say medium plus body, long finish, and a creamy smoke texture. We're off to a good start here. So I'll smoke it down through the end of the first third. Let you know how it goes. Hey, we have reached the end of the first third. Beautiful burn line. Ash it for the first time right before this take. And still, a lot of smoke. All right, so at this point, I'm gonna say medium to full body, long finish, and still a creamy smoke texture. Two main tones. Hot chocolate, also red pepper. Those are the two main tones, both of the rectal hail and the palate. Getting a lot of this red pepper tingle on the palate. That is quite unique. For that, this is a sensational cigar. A lot of sensations going on. Also, walnut and espresso is undertone still to the retro on palate. And that is it for the first third. Still good. Not liking that the pepper's ramping up. It is what it is though. So I'll smoke it down through the end of the second third into that secondary band some. Let you know how it goes. Hey, we have reached the end of the second third. Beautiful burn line. Ashed it just before this take. And still, plenty of smoke. <laughs> At this point, medium to full body, long finish, and now an aired smoke texture. One main tone now. You could probably guess what it is. Red pepper, that's the main tone, both of the rectal hail and the palate. Burning my nose right now. Whew. 
a lot more espresso. That's right underneath the red pepper through the retro palette. The hot chocolate's still there, but just as a faint undertone through the retro palette. Oh man. And just a faint hint of walnut only through the retro hail now. Took a dip here in the second third. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping it could bounce back in the final third, but we'll see. So I'll smoke it down through the end of the rest of the cigar here, as far down as I can go. I'll get to final verdict. Hey, we have reached the end of this Melania Maduro. Slightly wavy burn line, flaky ash, but still plenty of smoke. Ugh. At this point, full body, long finish, and an arid smoke texture. Uh, took a dip here in the final third once again. Red pepper and espresso, two main tones, both of the retro on palate. So much of those freaking flavors. Not the best cigar here at the end. Also, hints of walnut and hot chocolate to the retro on palate. Oh. And that is it as far as the flavors go. So overall, I'm gonna rate this cigar a pedestrian. At the first light and in the first third, this was a very good cigar. Took a dip in the second third and an even bigger dip here in the final third. So overall, a pedestrian score. Ugh. Yeah, uh, safe to say I'll be sticking with the natural version of both this one and the regular V. Those are way better than the Maduro counterparts in my opinion. And one last thing, do not forget to follow me on Rumble and Odyssey. With the way YouTube has been restricting and censoring cigar content lately, it is paramount that you know I am on other platforms like Rumble and Odyssey, just in case if YouTube pulls a plug in us here, if you watch this on YouTube. Glad that this one's over with. So yeah, everybody, this has been my review of the Oliva Siri V Milano Maduro in Robusto. I think I got all that right. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you for the next view.